Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Now, New York has a new problem. The fabric of the American Constitution is only as strong as the will of the people who uphold and cherish it. I'm Lieutenant Oliver North, your instructor. Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North, U.S. Marines. To serve his country was his only thought. Vietnam brought him two Purple Hearts. Washington brought him a taste of power. Welcome to the National Security Council, Major. You ready to do battle for the administration? Absolutely. Who do we fight? Well, for starters, the U.S. Senate. So you're right about the job, Miss... Uh... Paul Feinhall. It is the cutting edge of history. Harley, that's a private war down there. You get caught, we got a major international incident on our hands. Any man puts his life on the line fighting the Reds, I'll help. Guts and glory. David Keith is Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North. He did what no soldier should do. He forgot the first rule of combat. Soldiers are expendable. You understand we're talking about a covert operation here. Calera said to mention he's going to need another million five by August. What do I tell him? Tell him I'm working on it. I'd like to bring up that idea I've been floating on Iran. Hell, I know it's explosive. But I see it as a way to open channels to some anti khomeini people. The ultimate irony. The Ayatollah's money to fuel the Contras. Ali, you can't lie to your own people. It's not a lie. It's a covert operation. We've told the world we don't deal with terrorists. The world doesn't need to know. His belief in loyalty was total. But would blind loyalty be his downfall? There's always the chance that someone might need to take a hit to protect the president. That happens, sir, here I am. We're fighting for democracy down there. By keeping it a secret from democracy here, you and I have done more in three years here than most could pull off in a career. They're going criminal, no doubt about it. Criminal? What do you think we've been talking about? You could be asking for trouble. They asked for trouble. I gave them everything. My guts, my life, everything. The Marine does what it takes. I fight any way I can. The end justifies the means. Damn right. Guts and glory. The story of a criminal of the state or a hero of the people. The enigma lives on. Put your game face on. Here we go. Four major league psychotics. I never agreed with that diagnosis. We're on a field trip to a ball game. It's the road again. Yeah. And don't you come back when no their doctor no disappears. We run into one complication. Murder. Ah! What you say? Could you recommend a good clinical psychiatrist in the neighborhood? We seem to have lost ours. Now. We ran into a little snag out here. Somebody's trying to kill Dr. Weitzman. I fear my doctor may have been teased by the Romans. They're on their own. Kind of wanted by the police right now. Bummer. They're off their medication. <sighs> ah, it's great to be young and insane. And they're about to give the world a dose of reality. We're a special combat unit with the United States Marine Corps. We've been tracking some Libyan terrorists. In fact, I think we've got them trailed to a bagel shop around the corner. Give me a break. All right, we're four escaped lunatics. Yes, I believe. Oh, we gotta pull Whitesman out of the hospital before those two cops come back. We are all naked in the eyes of the Lord! Oh! Would someone please take me back to my room? Those four nuts are still rattling around somewhere. There's an APB out on them. Look out! We came to town to see a ball game, now they want to give us the chair. Hold it. I love New York. Bring your kids, have them arrested. Do some time in the big ass. Michael Keaton, Christopher Lloyd, Peter Boyd, 
Stephen first. This is crazy. I can relate to that. I got news for you, psychos. We're getting better. Yeah! The Dream Team. Arise and walk, my son. Coming soon to a theater near you. We're about to complete a great quest. The Holy Grail, Dr. Jones. Oh, rats. <laughs> Is the second marker. Indiana Jones is on the quest of a lifetime. But for some adventures, one Jones is not enough. Dad? Junior? Don't call me that, please. Follow me! I know the way! Ah! A race across three continents. And in this sort of race, there's no silver medal for finishing second. Hang on, Dad, we're going in! Into the homeland of the enemy. Nazis. I hate these guys. Our situation has not improved. It is search for the Holy Grail. How dare you kiss me? In the belly of that steel beast. Dad! Junior! You call this archaeology? The quest for the grail is not archaeology. It's a race against evil. Germany has declared war on the Jones boys. <laughs> Those people are trying to kill us. I know, Dad! It's a new experience for me. Happens to me all the time. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Have the adventure of your life. Keeping up with the Joneses.
five years ago in New York. Anything else I can do for you? She tried something once. Maybe. Just for the experience. Done every other crazy thing imaginable since you got here. I mean, why not turn a trick? One moment of madness. Just get through it. That would come back to haunt her. I really do believe this was your first time. She chose the wrong man, a very professional killer. <laughs> Now, her worst nightmare. He's back. It's a dream. It's a dream. I just saw him. He was on the elevator. Oh. The guy. The guy from New York. From the hotel. The truth could cost her her husband. I was afraid I'd lose you. What the hell are you trying to tell me here, huh? He paid me. Her friend. Gregory Harrison, Alexandra Powers, Brian Wimmer, Dangerous Pursuit. You only have to make a mistake once. an obsession. An unbalanced mind will consider murder the ultimate form of expression. We have 13 books cut up in this manner. We believe that these mutilations were done here. The fact is, he makes the rest of the ones on your list look as normal as white bread. An obsession turns into a relentless search for prey. We kept the grisly details out of the papers for the sake of the relatives. It's been a razor sharp knife to do what he'd done afterwards. I happened to see that girl's body when they brought her in. I want this guy. As far as I'm concerned, we are looking for a book bundle and nothing more. Since it seems to me that you have a uh, Jack the Ripper working overtime on your books here, that the longer you sit here, the more familiar he becomes with you. <laughs> oh, life was a wreck, though I found Jesus. <laughs> Well, you had a case about a year ago. A young woman uh, murdered in Eden Park. Murder? She was butchered. Harry Stoner is the man trying to make the connection. In Final Notice.